In this video, we're going to focus on the list style image. And what is basically the list style image is instead of having here, maybe we have this item here and we get these discs and you have the square, you have all these different options, but you don't like them. And you want to have something more appropriate. So what can we do then? Well, we can do a customized version by making our own item. And this is based on an image. Should you use this? That's still a question, question that you should consider because it doesn't look that very nice. It looks a very traditional style as a, in Microsoft Office Word where you can get a list item and insert your logo within the item here. So is this a nice thing to do? If you have a nice professional image that you can scale down but still keep it high in pixel quality so it won't be pixelated, it might be nice. Of course, it requires a bit of a creative eye in this case because it's it's very hard to make this look very appealing. All right, so let's begin. So we're going to use your list style, and then you can see here the park the image, and then in here we're going to put in the URL. So we type in URL, and here single single quotation, and then here we can put in an image. So right now I have an image already. It's called Piggy Banker. Of course, you have to put in the full link right now because I'm working for my desktop. And the image is on my desktop, I don't have to do anything. But if you are working and you extract it somewhere else from my website or something, you have to use the link itself. That's very important. So I say a piggy banker PNG. Once we save this and refresh, you can see immediately the logo works. However, we are moved here, and I can, and as I explained before. We had these universal items set up or the universal selectors. So what we have to do here is to put in here some space. So the question for you right now, what do you think we need? Do we need padding or margin for this? So if you would say margin, that might be because margin can push us everything outside the content box. But same as padding in this case, if we do padding left, we will push specifically this item more here and then this will be following along because basically this item here is a well it's not before but you can almost consider it as a before if you look at here on our unordered list we get here this item it's like a marker basically it's positioned similar to a li before all right so what we can do here then is a padding left and then we can give this well i assume that this image here right now is about 50 pixels so we can say 50 pixels save that make a 50 pixel jump and then once we refresh you can see now we are moving properly and that's really how it works this is how you can do it to give it a proper positioning thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions regarding this make sure you put them in the comment section I'll get back to you and if you enjoyed this video check out the next video here you will probably enjoy this as well.